last time on Who's That Order. This latest lawsuit alleges the music mogul gang a woman 20 years ago when she was only 17. A woman identified as Jane Doe I alleges she was 17 when Sean Combs and two others trafficked her for and her. I thought we used to have these bottles, right? Bottle, they'd be, they'd be regular Moet bottles. On them bottles right there, they'd been to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they'd be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. Put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't need no. Diddy has finally broken his silence on growing allegations of S.A. after a fourth alleged victim filed a lawsuit claiming she was gang and trafficked when she was just 17 by Diddy and his associates. All right. My thing is, is though, where was her parents? How does your daughter leave Michigan and go, and and go to uh, New Jersey on a yeah, I don't plane know. Yeah, yeah. with grown hey. men? How does that happen? And then you know, like you said, so were they making her drink all those drinks, or were they forcing drugs on her? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Were they just were they pushing on her? Or, 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 or you know? You should know your limits. I don't care how young you are. I mean, was you drinking all these drinks so you can get there? I mean, I, I it's a means, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff to this story. It really is. And they had time that one of them people say they forced her. They forced drinks and alcohol on her. They didn't say that. What did they say? They said that kind of like she, she, she was, she's just drunk. She said, they, um, what she said? She said, Ah, man, uh, like kind of call horse to it or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I don't oh. mind. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to go back. Kissed her in an essay, Miss Doe, and then violently forced her to give him a. It was before that, wasn't it? Doe claims yeah. they drew up to Daddy's House Recording Studio, owned and operated by Diddy and Bad Boy, and Diddy and his associates piled her with drugs and alcohol, eventually. To Piled. Piled or something like What? <laughs> I don't know. They, they, they put it on and just kept putting it. Just piling it on her face. Her face. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Know. She said piled. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know either, man. I don't know either. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Yeah. I don't know. So she didn't know what was going to happen when she flew out there? Look, you asking good questions. <laughs> she is not dumb. I'm trying. She is I'm not dumb. dumb. <laughs> you are not asking. You are you are asking the right question. But I mean, we know that them grown men shouldn't have had a seventeen year old with them. Right, even if she wanted to do all that, you know, and you know, I don't know now if, if, she, cause how did she ever come out with this before? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. But even if she did want to do all that, man, these grown men should have uh, not did any of it. Not took, yeah, not took her out of state not took her back to you know what i mean I, but that's why i say where was her parents yeah where where yeah, was her parents at that time? how does your how does your 17 year old daughter leave the state on a private jet going to new jersey yeah. how does that happen Maybe they didn't know. Maybe, 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 maybe she ran away. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. But that, <laughs> that part just throws me off. Yeah, it does. It throws me off. Because I'm like, man, she so, just left with him. Go ahead. 
Um, Duty the lawyer probably going to say something about that too. We're going to bring all of the... Yeah, they probably will. You know, yeah, he, 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 he don't have to. But somebody going to be like, you know, what was your parents? Why did you just go? You knew what was going to happen. Right. All the parents going to be there in court to see what's going on. So right. I think we're going to end up going to end up going to Right. Why do you sound Why do you sound muffled all of a sudden? I don't know. Huh. I don't know. I mean, you you sound kind of I can still hear you. But you just you don't sound as clear as you usually do. Huh? I'm in the same spot, the same house. Same spot. Yeah. Okay. Say something now. Say test. Test. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to let this play a little more. Okay. And one photo shows her sitting in Diddy's lap. And while legal experts are now saying this will lead to criminal charges against Diddy, Diddy broke his silence on Instagram just hours after this lawsuit was filed and denied everything, accusing his alleged victims of going after his money. He wrote, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. Sources close to the situation are also saying that Diddy will try to use the same strategy convicted R. Kelly used, paint himself as the victim and his accusers as money-hungry liars. Shortly before he was found guilty and sentenced to 31 years in prison, R. Kelly sat down for an interview with Gail King and broke down crying and claimed that he was innocent and all the victims were lying. I'm going to tell you something, Gail. There's one you. I'm going to tell you something. What women said about you. What women said about me. What women... So nobody's allowed to be mad at me and be scorned and, and lie on me. So they're lying on you. That's your explanation. They're lying on you. Absolutely. Absolutely. You feel that people. All right. Feel that part. That part seems a little fake. You like, you like. <laughs> you like, you like, bro. That, that part seemed a little, a little bit fishy. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know what's up with that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot oh man yeah i hope none of the jurors saw this video they probably did they did oh you know they saw this video yeah everybody saw that video <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shoot uh, you know i was with him i was with him at first when you know i thought that was real emotion but that yeah. clip right there that one right there, nah, man. He sold it. Nah. He sold it. He sold it. Nah, he, he sold ain't sell it. it. He ain't sell it. Nah, he ain't sell it. He ain't yeah, sell it. He ain't 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 some sort of appeal or something from a judge. This is gonna be something. I'm telling you, he ain't gonna do no thirty years. I promise you, not. I don't know. I don't know, man. I love Rick right, James. Rick James, Rick James was five years. Three and a half. Yeah, five or maybe three, something like that. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Mm. Oh. I don't know what Rick James got. How how many years he got? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this play. The people have maligned your character. I have been, I have been buried alive. Oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. 
Robert. Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. Robert. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. I gave you 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. So it looks like Diddy will try this same formula all narcissists use, the Darvo technique, which means deny, attack, and reverse victim and offender. We'll see how this will play out in court if Diddy is criminally prosecuted. But before that, we'll get more insight into all of Diddy's alleged crimes and his accomplices from 50 Cent's upcoming documentary. Diddy recently confirmed that his production company, G-Unit Films and Television, is developing a documentary that will look into all the allegations about Diddy and Fiddy promised he would bring more receipts. And then after the fourth suit was filed against Diddy, Fiddy announced he'll donate all the proceeds from the documentary to support SA victims. He wrote, my God, 17? Was no one off limits? This documentary is gonna blow you away. Did he do it or not? Coming soon. But then- <laughs> wow. Did he do it? Did wow. he do it? Come on, man, wow. this dude is a troll, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he making a he making a documentary. Surviving oh, it's yeah. surviving Diddy. Hey, I, I, <laughs> it's a genius though. It's a genius. <laughs> yeah, That's a he, genius, he, he on his say. neck. He been on his neck yeah. for a few yeah. years, but now yeah. he is on yeah. his neck. I mean, he Man. Got we know something we don't know. Yeah, I'm sure he do. Hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for part four.